In September of 2019, SpaceX unveiled the first iteration of Starship, a proposed super heavy launch vehicle that when completed will be the most powerful rocket ever created. Starship will be able to freight over 100 metric tons to low Earth orbit, nearly twice as much as SpaceX's own Falcon Heavy, the most powerful operational rocket currently active. What's more is that Starship will be the first ever completely reusable launch system, expending only fuel on its journey to space. Elon Musk claims that the rapid reusability factor of Starship is paramount for lowering the cost of space exploration and ultimately removing it from the hands of government agencies. But how much does reusability improve the cost of a rocket launch? To answer this question, we'll need to look at current and upcoming launch vehicles from other organisations and compare them to SpaceX's fleet. Let's start off small, relatively speaking, and compare ULA's Delta IV Heavy to SpaceX's Falcon Heavy. The Delta IV Heavy, ULA's most powerful current rocket, can lift 28.79 metric tons to low Earth orbit. During flight, Delta IV Heavy gradually discards all components, including its first stage, side boosters, fairings, and its second stage. This puts Delta IV Heavy's launch cost at $350 million. The Falcon Heavy, on the other hand, with reusability factored in, can lift around 30 metric tons to low Earth orbit at a cost of $90 million. That's $260 million cheaper for a greater payload. When reusable, Falcon Heavy recovers its fairings, side boosters, and center core, leading to a cost reduction of over $60 million. It's pretty clear which rocket you'd choose to launch on as a satellite manufacturer. Now, SpaceX have announced their plans for Starship to eventually make the Falcon fleet obsolete and when you run the numbers, it's easy to see why. Starship will be able to lift over 100 metric tons to Earth orbit and beyond, three and a half times that of the Delta IV Heavy and almost twice that of the Falcon Heavy's maximum payload capacity of 64 tons. However, the real kicker comes when you compare the launch cost. Starship will not only be the most powerful rocket ever built, it will be the cheapest. Starship will launch at a cost of $2 million, that's 175 times less than the cost of a Delta IV Heavy launch, and 45 times less than the cost of a reusable Falcon Heavy. If Starship is going to make its own rocket fleet redundant, one that's already blowing all competition out of the water as is, what does this mean for other companies that are still freighting satellites up on fully expendable launch vehicles? SpaceX isn't without its competitors. The biggest rival to SpaceX's future plans is Blue Origin. Although they may be years apart in terms of current launch capabilities, Blue Origin has at least one thing going for them, and that's money. Blue Origin's founder, Jeff Bezos, as of 2020, has a net worth of $153 billion through ventures like Amazon and investments in various companies. Needless to say, Blue Origin are never far away from a large cash injection should they need one. With this wealth comes a measurable ambition. Blue Origin are in the process of developing New Glenn, their flagship rocket, which will have a payload capacity of 45 tonnes to low Earth orbit. The 7 meter fairing has two times the payload volume of any existing launch vehicle, which means more room for satellites and the freedom to add more stages should they be needed. New Glenn's size also makes it able to launch in 95% of weather conditions, making it a reliable option for payload customers. Whilst we don't yet have a prediction on the launch cost, with Blue Origin notorious for keeping their cards close to their chest, we do know that the cost of launch will be dramatically reduced due to the fact that the New Glenn's first stage, much like the Falcon 9's first stage, will propulsively land on a drone ship. What's more is that Jeff Bezos has stated that New Glenn, standing at 98 meters tall, will be the smallest of their orbital rocket fleet. While New Glenn certainly scales up to Falcon Heavy, comparing it to Starship is still a huge stretch. Right now, the only rocket worth comparing to Starship is NASA's own Space Launch System, or SLS for short. If you've held an interest in space at any time in the last decade, then you're more than likely aware of NASA and the US government's constantly changing plans to send humans to the Moon and Mars. Since the year 2000, NASA have put forward multiple launch system proposals, all of which fell flat, before finally settling on SLS in 2011. There are a number of different rockets planned for the SLS fleet, all of which vary in size and capabilities, but for now, we'll be focusing on the SLS Block 1, as it's the closest model to being fully developed and the most comparable to Starship in terms of size and payload capacity. SLS Block 1 will stand at a whopping 98 meters tall and will carry the Orion crew capsule capable of ferrying six astronauts either to Earth orbit or the Moon. The first launch of SLS Block 1 is planned for November 2021, where an Orion spacecraft will be sent on a mission lasting 25 days, spending six of those days in orbit around the Moon. That sounds great and all, but when you consider the launch cost, things start to get ugly. 
NASA officials state that the launch could cost anywhere from $500 to $900 million. However, other sources claim that it could succeed at $2 billion, and NASA aren't denying it. Starship's crew variant, on the other hand, will stand at 120 meters tall, and aims to be able to take up to 100 people to the Moon, Mars, and possibly beyond, at a minimum cost of around $5 to $7 million. Why is this so cheap compared to the SLS? Well, it's to do with rapid reusability. Starship's first stage, dubbed Super Heavy, has a planned turnaround time of under 24 hours. Because of this, SpaceX will launch Starship's crewed variant with just enough fuel to be able to put itself into orbit, and then send a tanker variant up to refuel the crewed variant, launched on the same booster. This allows SpaceX to use some of the saved weight for extra cargo and life support systems that will help a crew on its journey beyond Earth. Starship also has a cargo variant, which will be able to launch over 100 tonnes to Earth orbit and potentially even further should they utilise refuelling again. So, will Starship make all other rockets obsolete? Right now, it's too early to give a clear answer, but if SpaceX manages to deliver on expectations like they have many, many times in the past, we could be seeing an industry dominated by Starship in the not so distant future. Overall, SpaceX's goals for Starship aren't to have it completely soak up all the launch requests. The goal for Starship is to transform humans into a multi-planetary species. We are living in incredibly exciting times when it comes to space travel, and Starship might just be the key that allows us to go further out into the solar system than we ever have before. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to drop it a like as it always helps us out. And if you wanna join us on more adventures into the arcane and other stuff, uh, then make sure to subscribe. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you later.